So now that we've learned a little bit about what our spreadsheet app can do, let's get into some examples to see, to just demonstrate some of the concepts. So I've got my script editor open here. I'm going to go ahead and create a function. We'll call this function get value and we'll pass in a cell. And this is going to be a really quick, simple function. We'll call, or we'll just return spreadsheet app dot get active sheet. Now you get this nice autocomplete. If it doesn't come up, you just hit control space and it'll come up, get active sheet dot get range and we'll pass in that cell name and then we'll call get value and just a nice little function to help us get values from our cell we'll create another one function set value cell value because we're going to specify the cell and we're going to identify what value it's going to going to be set to uh, we won't return we'll call spreadsheet app dot get active sheet dot get range same thing there set value value. So we can use these nice little functions. Now if I want to have a, a function that just say, let's say we set the first five values of our spreadsheet, we can do that pretty easily. Or if we want to set four or five uh, cells, we can call function initialize cells and we could call set value a1, we'll say 12, set value a2, 15, set value, A3, 20. And if we run this, if we just select our initialized cells and run, we've already, already authorized the spreadsheet, so we're not going to get that warning. And if we come back to our spreadsheet, you can see it's going gonna, it's gonna to just uh, populate all of those values there. So nice and easy, pretty simple. Uh, we can set values, we can modify values, you know, we could have another one, function, show some <clears throat> some could just we'll say uh, set value we'll set cell a4 equal to get value a1 plus get value a2 plus get value a3 so all we're doing there is we're using spreadsheet app, get active sheet, get range, but we're just doing it in, in a simpler shorthand way. So now if we call show sum and run, it's going to pull in all of that data and it's going to give us our sum. There we go. 12 plus 15 plus 20 is 47. So pretty easy to manipulate values, pretty easy to read things in from our spreadsheet. If we want to clear everything out, function clear sheet, we'll just call spreadsheet app app. You have to make sure that you get this right. And a common problem is some people put this as a capital S. That won't work. Sometimes people put in an extra E. That also won't work. And if the A is lowercase, or it's got to match. It's got to be a lower uppercase S and an uppercase A. Everything else needs to be lowercase and put together the same way. So if we use spreadsheet app dot get active sheet dot clear. If we run clear sheet, we come back. Everything's gone. Everything's gone. It doesn't matter what's in the sheet. We can put we can put stuff in all over the sheet, and we can change things to bold, and we can change things to italics, and we can even make this one like a huge font, 36 point font. Uh, if we come back here, we clear sheet. Once that's run, everything's gone. All the formatting, everything is just wiped out completely. Uh, if we want to say uh, identify what the sheet is, we could just create a function, function identify sheet, and we can set val value A1 uh, the to the sheet name is spreadsheet app get active sheet dot get name. And if we run that, We'll see that it's going to identify this, and we can even we can manipulate that function change name spreadsheet app dot get active sheet dot set name new name. If we run change name, we'll see down at the bottom that is no longer sheet one; it's new name. So. You can manipulate the spreadsheet tabs using the uh, that method as well, that set name method. 
we can figure out how much data is in our table. Let's say we have a, some data in our table. We'll say 1, 3, 9, 12, 4, 9, 13, 19, 5, 3, 15, 16. We could actually just log this. We can create a function. Function table si or data size logger dot log. There are uh, spread sheet app dot get active sheet dot get last column columns. And we can use logger dot log. There are spreadsheet app dot get active sheet dot get last row rows. Now if we run that data size function and look at our log, we'll see we have four columns and three rows. And if we change that, if we say if we put something out here, ninety eight all the way out in row or column F and we run that again we'll see that's going to report there are six columns because that's just identifying how much data even though column E is empty we're looking at the last column here so we have this going out to column F uh, we can also add a row you know if we want to add a row to our uh, we'll go ahead and delete that value we'll go ahead and add a row here uh, so we can have function add row and we could just have it return you know maybe we want to just have a random number random bunch of values so uh, we could use um, return and we're gonna create an array and or I'm sorry we're going to generate a row and we'll we're, we'll just use spreadsheet app dot get active sheet dot append row and we'll pass in an object array and we'll just use we'll say math dot random times 20 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 and every time we call this add row we should get a new row on our sheet so if I click that once click it twice click it three times we get into our spreadsheet we've got all these new random values at the end of our spreadsheet and you'll see this is actually kind of nice because they're not generated in the spreadsheet they're just normal values here so pretty easy to populate a spreadsheet using something like this method we can also use the spreadsheet app object to retrieve a bunch of data from our spreadsheet so we might want to create a function called you know log all data and we can use some of the things we've already done to, to make this work. We'll use function log all data. We'll say var last column, and we can retrieve that. We'll just go ahead and copy and paste this code. And we'll use var last row, and we'll copy and paste that code as well. Now we can actually retrieve all of the data using, we'll call var range is equal to spreadsheet app dot get active sheet dot get range and we'll start with one one last row last column and that should give us all of the data that we have uh, now if we want to retrieve the values we can use var data is equal to range dot get values and that will give us that two-dimensional array of data once we have that we can actually just log it you know for var r is equal to zero r is less than data dot length r plus plus for var c is equal to zero, c is less than r or data r dot length c plus plus logger dot log the value at r and we'll say at row r and column c is data r c and if this works we haven't made any mistakes we'll just go ahead and call that function log all data we'll run that that should retrieve our data if we open up our log you can see now oh it's going to give us all of our data but you can see how it's uh, this this uh, 
multi-dimensional array that we get it's starting with zero and it's showing us what's up here at top one and then three nine twelve uh, so we're seeing each one of these you know moving through this this different this multi-dimensional array so we can actually use that to, to get a bunch of data and if we wanted to change that let's say we wanted a function that would add one to everything we could do that pretty easily function add one to everything We'd want to start and get that same set of values. So let's go ahead and just copy all of these. And we'd want to do that same operation here. We'd just paste that as well. Uh, instead of logging, though, we'd create, uh, we'd, we'd just manipulate our range. So we would say data r c plus equals 1. Then down after we're done, we would call spreadsheet app dot get active sheet dot get range. And we'd use the same parameters, 1, 1, last row, last column, dot set values, and then we just set the values back, data. Now if we run this, let's go ahead and take a look, and we might have made a mistake here, but let's check it out. 1, 3, 9, 12, uh, the last value is 19, the first value is 1. Let's go ahead and try it out, add 1 to everything. We run this should complete pretty quickly and you can see here everything is now one more so you can use this to manipulate a lot of the data on your spreadsheet very very quickly or to add rows or to just find information about your spreadsheet but hopefully now that we're getting more into the uh, advanced features we'll be able to do a lot more interesting things with our spreadsheets but for now thanks for watching